Uh, buddy, can you give me a, uh, can you, like, type the name in chat? Or something, so we can figure out how it's, how it's said? That was not the ex Score. Zero Click. To three. Switching side. I believe it's... It's something with an M. They've got a wolf. The wolves for the time being. Marist. <laughs> I was so far off. Alright. Good to know. Here's back into the match. It will be SVSU on the attack now. Marist getting a time of almost 420. So close. 3.91 meters. Ready to go. They've got to push that race car a good while. The one issue with this map is that there are such long sight lines and like strong high ground points that it basically just turns into Widow versus Widow, especially for the first two. And then after that, it turns into more team fights. But Marset was able to just get momentum off the first few interactions and then carry it all the way through the map. You see Pierre in Rom King still on the Widows. I'm trying to see some insane shots here. It's gonna be. It's always fun to watch the Widows. You know, like, you know whenever one just, like, goes to jump shot, and then you know that they're both looking at you, it's like, alright, who's gonna go down? What's or gonna happen here? When you're fighting, then all of a sudden you hear overhead just those red lines zipping <laughs> across. You don't even know what's happening, suddenly all you know is your, your head's just gone. Like, you see he's already pre-peeking, if you press space we'll be able to see the first person, but he's already pre-peeking where he thinks uh, Rome King is gonna be popping up from. Little pocket by the Mercy. Disconnected now. There we are. Mercy having a very strong set of nerfs coming to her kit, depending on how you see it after this last Overwatch patch. Here, find the shot on Zenyatta. Amazing. That is a huge play, gives one of their healers down. They got two down as Vinny finds the shot on the Widow with a Mercy pocket. Baptiste saying, It's my turn to start taking out the DPS. Zig applying the pressure here. And now we're just going to be seeing SPSU trying to clean up this fight. Just the Sigma left. He's floating for his life. Nemo chasing with... Those... Nemo chasing with uh, Grumpy Monkey, one of the new Overwatch players for the semester. And now we see that high ground we were talking about, where it is just so hard if you were the Widow on the low ground to try and get angles. And we do see Rumpy taking a shot on Pure, but now we're going to be seeing the res get out, and the return pick comes out right nice away. Nice shot, Pure. Nice shot, Rumpy's. But Pure comes out on top. You know, we just, we're just gonna keep a mental like tally of the widow fights. So we do see a big team fight breaking out here. Not really big. It's one of the poke battles. The dreaded Overwatch. Let's take five minutes. Not five minutes. Those go sped up. We do see Rome King is back. Pure doesn't know. He misses the first shot. Mine's two. Sig applying pressure loses the battle to their Sig. GG Dags. He does not receive the action spawn real quick. Going back to the team fight. Oh, Rome Widow. is getting jumped by the supports in the back line. Golly. You know what? Sometimes you, you, you're, you're the sniper. You see the sports walking at you. You just sort of panic. It's like you don't want to ever mercy like Velk pistols you. <laughs> you're just sitting there like, how do I hit this thing? Back in. We're going to be seeing a good amount of ults coming out from... Actually, correction, make that literally every ult on their team coming out from SVSU this fight. Well, being ready for SVSU this fight. The back window probably going to be leading into the soldier ult pretty soon here. And there it goes, the Widow Sight's coming out from both sides. And now we're just going to be seeing all the teams hitting Q. Mercy, making sure our team stays alive here. There we are, we see Nemo going up with his own single. Zippy managing to get the res off on Grumpy Monkey directly in front. Huge. Can he find this kill? No, he can't. Anna takes down the Widow. As the Nano comes out on the Sigma, it is literally just every team pressing Q besides that Zen ult from... Sojourn finds Anna! Yep, and now it's just gonna be a sort of cleanup. We see the Zen ult finally coming out, but is it too little too late? As it is just Sigma and Zen, Widow coming back. Let's see if SVC is able to win this team fight. Sort of forcing their support still back, because the Widow and Sig are just sort of sending pot shots back there. So it's just gonna be Nemo left on the front line. Can they keep their Sigma alive? They are all that he was down at 30 health. That one left click and sustain. We do see both the widows getting a pick on the DPS, but we've got the mercy res to counteract it. Bob coming in from Marset, gonna be knocking up our back line. It's gonna force him in sort of a corner. Grouped up three here in the left lane. Just barely missing that headshot onto the widow. Treating using this kind of oh landscaping to work around. It looks like 
But that is finally going to be starting to have a victor in this team fight after it's went on for about a minute and a half on point. SVSU, Nemo, Zippy, and Grumpy Monkey fall, leaving Pierre and Vidi to defend. It is now we're going to be seeing a big regroup. That was a very long team fight, a whole lot of ults, and we basically got half the ults back after it. We do, however, only have uh, Sigma ults coming out from Marset. Meanwhile, we're going to be coming up on both Velk, almost Sigma ults, and Bath Window for this next fight, which we do see the Widows going at it for a second, though. Here doesn't find the shot for SSU. Would have been a huge momentum taker. It's not both these teams are just looking for an entry level pick. All the snipers just getting ready. That is, that is the thing. They've been running double snipers, yet we've been br like half brawling on point for a good amount of this. And it still works out. You do see Nemo going up for the Sigma ult. Manages to catch two, but does catch, also catch a rock to the face in the middle of that. Meanwhile, Vidi and Pure are coming out with the back window, taking out three. Make that four, and it's just going to be the Widow left. Keeping the push going. Amazing work by SVSU here with the team kill. That is now finally coming on to this third. Third and final push around the corner. Sniper's are going to be slightly less of an issue as we see Rome King swapping off the Widow and going on to Tracer. We do, however, see SVSU staying because we have those sight lines. And we're just going to be able to know exactly where we are. And there it goes. They've also swapped a monkey. Rome, not Rome King. Marcet sort of swapping and dive. SVSU, Nemo getting jumped up top by the monkey. It is Winton Wednesday. And Rome King getting the pick on to Pure. Nemo trying to just flick the rock, catch the tracer. Winston, who's a more of a high mobility tank, trying to get some dives going, keep SVSU's attention. Sporadically, he just falls. Dives too deep, has no team support. As we saw Nemo eating all the healing that Marset was trying to send to him, a really good play with that. Sigma Kinetic Grass was taking any projectiles or shots that come into it. And he recognized that the Arnold is just going to try and pump the heal monkey full of heals, so he got right in the middle of that. We do see Pure swapping over to the Cassidy. Just trying to figure out a way to deal with the Tracer a bit more. Just mess up the dive that they had planned. Oh, this poor Zen. The Trank getting... Sorry. Trank getting forced out here from our set. And now it's just sort of going to be them on the back foot. Only a few ults left to try and defend against this. Meanwhile, SVSU coming up on almost all of them yet again. We do see the back window, and we're going to be seeing the grumpy monkey ult. Soldiers just be able to play a point and click game with that back window. Just barely missing the Zen. He's getting out of there on literally one health, and that four ash. Percy gets the ash kill. Uh, don't forget that was nerfed. You know, only 195 to a headshot now. Such an ulting here. Keeping the push back. He is forcing the entire team back, leaving just Nemo on point. However, Marset is still not able to finish him off just because of what well, sustained. Nemo being very, doing very well handling himself in there. We do have a Tracer just stuck in the back line. Meanwhile, it looks like they might not be able to contest the point in time. still has the melody in his ears, does not get it all. He doesn't He doesn't know what's going on. He's probably... Hey boys, he did have the melody! <laughs> found the melody. He was ready for it. What is that melody? He still has no idea. Nobody knows. Beethoven? <laughs> it sounds like it'd be it's just it's like the Jeopardy theme Sigma just doesn't know he, <laughs> just, he's been disconnected for too long but meanwhile just taking a look at the scenery around here what a, this what a map. it is indeed a map Overwatch 2 really overhauled the graphics of Overwatch 1 and it, you can tell it's so much more focused on just like looking pretty Compared to Overwatch 1, which is, which is more like information based. I, I hate it sometimes when I'm playing, but whenever it's spectating, I really like the changes. I like the aspects of gaming when the visuals look good. It's, it's just the issue of, from a player's perspective, visual clutter is so much more of a problem here. Mm -hmm. You know that Valorant screenshot of like every ability? No nonsense. It's just like Valorant's like a CSGO clone. It pans to yeah. every single ability on the screen, all the flashing colors, double neon walls. That's what Overwatch feels like. We're going to be seeing, once again, both back to the double sniper. Well, sort of. Sojourn's close enough to a sniper. And the Widow's just standing there, SIG shield ready. Just menacingly. He's just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> Do you see Marcy? 
capturing early ground here, pushing them back, but they want this high ground defense for the first point. Is that bridge being a very hard spot for the attackers just to get the defenders off of? Barely missing that mercy. She was so lucky she got caught on that sign. Nemo works them off this, pushes them back to another angle. Amazing play here. Now Marta should be playing on the back foot, trying not to lose anyone as they're rotating back. We do see the Sigma from our set playing a bit more aggro. Is it, is it G Dex? Can't see far, too far. The Widow pick coming out on Grumpy, but we do, however, get the Widow pick on the Widow. And now we're going to be seeing a res coming out from both teams, acting like neither of those shots happened. And we do see. Sig pushes their back, finds the kill on their Sigma. This could be a huge play. That it is, and that's going to be the entire team fight. Just one Mercy hit and then one quick little hit there. Here go. Fell earlier, not participating in the team slaughter. Just yeah. watches his comrades fall. Got rezzed only to get picked off yet again. <laughs> we do see we're going straight into overtime here. SPSU having one of the harder actually spots to push into. Because it's Widow. oh my gosh. <laughs> Double jump shot. That would have been an amazing shot. Just a huge momentum grabber. Looks like SPSU still has the momentum here, just peppering that one angle that they're peeking off of. That it is, but all it's gonna take from Marset is just one unlucky pick, and they're just gonna be able to rush on the cart. However, we do see Pure forcing uh, Rome King back, and Nemo has the Sigma ready. No ults coming out from Marset yet, and the Sigma doesn't have the rock for it. What is that melody? But their Sigma is being saved by their backline healers. And is Kiriko just saying, there'll be no melody today, we're hitting a mute button real quick. And Nemo trying to get the rock off, barely misses it. Their Sigma ulting. Marset pushing them back. Zippy's trying to shoot through the back window for a second. Realizing they're down too. Keeping Nemo in this. Nemo working. Is, we're gonna be seeing their Sigma for success. Swarm. That they are just entirely invalidating our Widow with that shield. It's just Zippy and Nemo left on this point. Will they be able to stall it out until they come back? A pick almost coming out. Zippy goes down, it's just Nemo left. You just gotta keep this guy alive. That they do. We do see Grumpy Monkey coming back. Sojourn missing the, missing the slide. All good, Marset. Marset managing to stop the point just to the halfway mark. However, with four minutes left on this clock, SPC is going to have their work cut out for them to try and stop it. It's getting it's a very, as most payload maps are. Once you get rolling, it's super hard to actually get them off. But same thing goes for defense. If defense has the payload on lock, attackers are going to have such a hard time getting back onto it. Have you been feeling about the about the Widow mashup? I uh, um, they're heating up. They're heating up. <laughs> As you can see the one was just going for that shot. The the double jump shot almost. <laughs> Watching both of them just barely miss each other. So for this objective now they just gotta get it farther than the point so where SJ. If we go. pan back to the hill for a second all they need to do is get it to that yellow marker. Look to you. Yes. Right yeah. The yellow marker by the tree. That's as far as they need to get it. Where SVSU. They just need to get it to that point. We do see the Ryan coming out from SVSU. Deciding they're done with the poke comp. We're going to be running full brawl. I love Reinhardt on this man. Uh, yes, Ryan May. Still running the Sojourn as, you know, staple. We see the drop in the Widow on SVSU's side. Oh, they're sitting. They're setting up. They're getting ready for it. Gotta get the crouch, gotta see someone plays sneaky finish in the background. And they were ready, they checked who checks here. We see SVSU debating on exploding out, trying to get ready for the Lucio amp. We see the Lucio amp coming out and they're just gonna go for it. See what happens. We see Grumpy Monkey going down and it is just going to be Widow, Rom King wow. taking out so much space lost for the, on the defender side. Just an email left. Is he going to at least get the mercy? Akira Susu saving her. Rom King with that flank to the balcony finds three, just turns the tie. That does. The one sort of gamble they have there is by doing that play, they give up so much space if any of defenders can get past them. But they were just hoping to be able to. They basically. No one checks that room. Why would there be a team there? <laughs> But the Sigma decided, you know what, maybe. If we see the tiniest of angle peaks. The Widow Rom King almost getting taken out there. I wonder if he had his all right here, would that, that be insane? That it would be insane. You throw up a back window, they're not going to be watching that corner. Go click, click, click. We do see Rom King taking a high ground again. It's just going to be SVCU sort of playing for the second point here. Nemo putting the crowd control on. 
it's, it's gonna be sort of Nemo's job until the explosive. Does a DPS pull for both sides? Yep, and Nemo sort of going a bit low on point. Ever Vinny managing to keep him alive with that immortality field. I like this tactic here, the pocketed soldier on the high ground. Yes, but we do see the Genji starting to apply pressure as Nemo goes down. It's gonna be Marset and that Mercy is out for blood. Huge left stairs pressure as well. Causing SPSU to have to retreat even way farther behind where site needs to go. Look at it regroup. We see Nemo having to swap onto the monkey, but this means he won't have a tankle for this fight. As Marset is currently sitting on four, almost five. The blade gets ready. SPSU only gonna have two ults to go into this, maybe a visor about halfway through it. We do see the battle coming out almost immediately. And that's just the question of does Mars that side wait out the they're just waiting out the window. They don't need to go in, they've got two minutes on the clock. We see Nemo having to jump in just to fly trying to fly a pressure. Mars Sig grab. by Marset. And this gonna Sigma's just gonna be trying to serve up all those people with the widow on a silver platter. Takes out Zippy with the flux. Another one with the rocks. Nice. Genji just chilling in their back back line. He hasn't even popped blades yet. There goes the Marcel character. Marcel with the momentum. Can they find this team kill? They don't even need it. They're just going to be forcing Nemo off the and point, and that will be is. game three. Going to... Are the team names swapped? That will be game three going to Marset. Ignore game. ignore the SVSU wins. Game three. Yes. We'll be seeing the Genji... Okay. We'll be seeing the Genji play the game going to catch your cam. As we see a beautiful Nano Blade coming out, just taking out three. This is amazing work getting in that back line, causing their attention to defer from the flank on the X point. It's a very beautiful deflect on that Sojourn, also. And now we will be seeing a map. What is map for? It's. I think we go back to. I think it's back to control. Map 4 is going to be Coliseo. Coliseo? We're going to hope. I can't I can't pronounce that. I'm going to be entirely honest. I'm not, I'm not very well-versed. Is it Coliseo? Something along those lines. It's pushed. We got Timmy. We got the robot, Timothy. Oh, I love that map. Yes. The very, very controversial. I don't, it's probably better than... It's definitely more fun to watch than 2CP. I'll put it that way. I'd much rather watch us hang around with the robot for about eight minutes than uh, sit there in the Anubis choke. <laughs> uh, the horror, the horrible memories. Okay. I'm seeing the robot just run around. We do. SVSU losing a bit of the momentum there, but however, uh, Poke is not our strong suit. We'd like to play more Broly and... That map is just not in our favor. So it's not going to work. Someone was running the green. Apparently the name is still wrong. For it. Um, it still says Rocket League. Uh, we need to swap the name on the game and name of the Twitch stream over whenever you get a chance, buddy. If that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yep, thank you. Alright, so... Uh, we only have an A. All right, so we will be going into game four scores, two to one in Marset's favor. This is a very close match, honestly. I think the ranks is once we go over, they're pretty close on both sides. Not entirely sure. I think they said they have like two masters on the enemy team. We have indeed swapped. Uh, yeah, we've swapped team names. We've just created college names. It's fine. So how are you feeling going into this match? It's very. It, this is a very brawl map, I feel. It's either brawl or dive. So I, want, I wonder if we're going to see Nemo back on Winston once again. Let me do. I kind of get more of uh, an aggressive comp built around that. Watching. I love how they gave Monkey the uh, the right-click testicle oil, right? So you can shoot people from afar. A lot of them have taken it and just be, been like, okay, so you gave us a ranged weapon, but also we can just incorporate this into our dive jump melee. So now we'll just deal half your health off jump pack. I didn't know they gave him a projectile. They did indeed. It's uh, if you hold down your right click, you get a test cannon that sh it doesn't deal much damage. It's like melee, but it shoots pretty far, so you can always finish off a pretty low health target. And also, once again, just the beautiful map design of Overwatch 2. And then Winston can't just take enough area on you very quickly. He'll just zap you from afar too. 
He does. He goes jumping straight in the back line, put down his shield, say, this is my home for a bit. In Wind Hidden, we trust. As we <laughs> see in the chat, they know what's happening. It's going to be panning on through. I like this map. Very, uh, colossal. <laughs> uh, if, we, if we go to the center of the map, we'll see Timmy. Lepis Maximus. Yes. I didn't even realize the, the like the futuristic highway inside. Yeah. Oh, Nemo. Dude, I gotta look. Actually, neither of them on monkey. Hold up. Oh. Nemo running the Ramatra. And SVSU definitely going for more of a brawl comp, still sort of running the Sojourn, as that is sort of a staple in Sojourn character for us. And, uh, Marces. Now, the last time I've played Overwatch, the Ramatra was OP, especially against Reinhardt. That he was. Ramatra's ult being the I'm going to win point for about eight seconds button. In that, if there are, st it says that it's a three second duration, it's a lie. If there are still enemies within the Ramatra ult, it will keep going. Finally, they gave it an end time of about 20 seconds, but that's still, we're going to win point for 20 seconds. So, meanwhile, we're going to be seeing the team sort of going into a general SVSU having more cloak. Not all the clothes to me, what's it? Nemo, as you can see, showing off the close range of Ramacho with the fist, also has that fast spraying projectile that can melt a shield. That it is. Ramacho's uh, projectiles in his tank form also just go straight through shields. Reinhardt can't really do much against this hero. Does he also shoot projectiles when he punches? Yes. It's oh much my like God. that. Why are we not seeing a 100% rate? 100% pick rate. But they want to give us some variety. <laughs> we're just going to be seeing SPSU. They have so much more poke than Marset has, and we're just going to be taking full advantage of that. We don't need your approach. You guys, Timmy's got the front line for us. We're just going to be playing around these corners, taking our picks, and you guys have to come to us. We do see the Kiriko are already coming out from SPSU. It's going to be a pretty big team fight. Vidi does go down. Kiriko says, follow the Kitsune on both sides. Let's see if they can follow it. Yep, they do. It looks like Marset has found the Fox Spirit a bit faster than it. SVSU taking a five team kill quick, pretty quickly, but however, three ults on both sides. We're going to be seeing which one sort of does more, because Marset does not have the beat yet, but they do have the him wall, which is going to entirely negate our... Actually, might negate Nemo's ult as well, because your Macho's ult doesn't go through shields, but it's going to entirely shut down the high noon if they place it right. And the soldier getting lasered off the high ground. Golly, Nemo. Sniper yeah. and a brawler. Yes, if only that had damage roll up. <laughs> well, you see Grover Ducky take out a huge pick on the Lucio, saying there will be no beat this fight. Grover Ducky just charging his secondary fire off the Simwo. The Earth Shatter. Earth Shatter coming out from our set. The soldier trying the visor, just trying to take a few picks off. Here we He's can see get... the Ramadra ulting. Yeah, he does. Or just sort of walks onto the soldier. Not much you can do in that situation. Just clean them up. And this is going to be taking back control of the robot. So if we cleaning up some Simitars in the back line and then coming back to the team. And we do have the beat going on to this fight as long as well as the Cassidy ult. I apologize if I say Kree, that is just a name from Overwatch 1 at any point. To clear up any confusion. But we're gonna be seeing how that plays into this fight. Marcet, the only ult they've got coming up for them is beat, so over SSU's gonna be up in the ult advantage this fight. And we still have the robot fight. We have the Farthest advantage by ever so slightly. A big team fight breaking out though. That Reinhardt's gonna be caught out by almost everything. The rest of his team trying to come in and try and help, but it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to get out. Nemo just sort of walking onto him. Flying that pressure, as I said earlier, just shreds the shield of Reinhardt and then brings him into close quarters where he can also contest. Oh, it's still keep it. Where did the Lucio come from? What? The Lucio goes down by Pure, but Pure goes down to the Kiriko. Gonna be two ults from SVSU. Sorry, two picks from SVSU, but now we see the Fox Spirit coming back out. That Ryan's going to be right in the back line. Another Shatter in this fight. The second one coming out, but it's going to be a pick to a pick. Both tanks going down, and now it's just the sort of squishy cleanup. And Zippy manages to find two in the end. Ice. Yes, the Reddit Lucio, as we love. In Windhidden we trust, in Frog we trust. That's going to be SVSU. Turn off that beat, going to collect his... Tank, so they can move faster get back to strike. It's the Simtar is just sitting menacingly through those walls. We do have the Ramatra ult coming in and the Kitsune. Are we going to be seeing a few ults just getting popped immediately? As you just sort of forcing him back. 
this Kitsune ult increases ability cooldown and attack speed. It does indeed, making it pretty close to impossible to walk into a team like a uh, Ramasha and Reinhardt with it. And now we're going to be seeing Marset is charging straight in. They're saying that if the, the one thing with poke comp is if once a brawl can get in, it's so hard for them to actually fight up close. So Marset they find four here. Marset with the momentum. They are. As you gonna have to take a full reset. They still have two ults going in. This almost three. Marset only sitting on a visor, but we'll probably be able to build chatter in the middle of it, and possibly looking at another tuna coming up as well. But we do have the soldier ult. But Nemo almost going down actually. Getting huge ground on this objective, pushing the robot. Almost coming up to the second point, which will give him a close spawn. Nemo's probably gonna have to try and contest pretty soon here. The Ryan's walking up to the high ground. Nemo pops the Ramash roll, manages to find one. Griffin fucking going down to the Reinhardt in the back line. Gacing, bloodlusting for two. Is, meanwhile, Zippy cleaning up the Simtar so that Ryan is gonna be one on point. We do see most of our set going down in this fight, but however, it's still it's pretty close. Here cleans up Reinhardt, gets. We're just going pick for pick here. Matra, they're just working on him. He gets, oh, oh, the frog. He gets He's not gone yet. He's not gone yet. What? He's still he all riding down there. Zippy just looking for him. And here he comes back. <laughs> not dead yet. If you don't see that Lucio in the kill feed, he's over there somewhere. But over, uh, SVSU does manage to find that team fight win. And now it's just going to be. We've still been holding on the Soul Journals. But however, Marset coming up with three ults this fight, we've got, well, also our own three ults. Actually, it's the same from sides of Rhino. Probably just looking for a Kitsune into Rhino Shatter. Kitsune is here. The beautiful Earth Shatter is going right around that shield. However, he's just getting a hard punish for going in. The only pick they find off it is Zippy on the Lucio. And possibly Nemo, but never mind Kiriko coming in to say, not today. Not a very good pick when you know we have a Kiriko still. Yes. And the symbol is just going to be helping Marset try and get out. SVSU just looking for a few more picks. We have the Kasuna here. I believe this could be a major push. Okay, good. If Brawl decides to try and just come into contest, as we see, do see the Fox Spear coming back out. SVSU. go. SVSU applying the pressure. Is that poor Reinhardt. Going to have to use an entire beat just to get him out of there. They back off. But they do, realizing that they've got to just sort of respect the extra burst of health that the beat gave him. Ryan sort of just trying to come from the side of the poke. SVSU just has to keep backing up. They know they can't contest this Rhino right oh, wow. in front. A pin coming in, and Nemo ends up getting his ult, which is going to turn this team fight right around. Immediately! He's still somehow alive in there. He's just going. Falls to Dax. But not after getting two and then helping Pure get the third. Just going to be leaving Marset with two, and the Ryan goes down. SVSU should be able to get a pretty good amount of push off this. Dax tries to get out and regroup with his team. Soldier on finding the refrag. It is, they most likely won't be able to make it to the checkpoint before Marcetta comes back. But let's find out if Nemo makes it back. The soldier, soldier will coming out, advisor in the back line. SVSU just gonna kite it around it. The shatter coming in. What a good shatter. And Nemo swapped to the Rhine. Swinging that hammer around. Wow, Marcet with the team kill. That it is. And now it's gonna be SVSU having full regroup. Nemo has swapped to the Rhine mirror. Moving off of the poke, realizing that if they decide, if Marcet decides just to walk on to him, they can't really do much. We do have the Dead Eye still coming up from Pure, as well as the Lucio from Zippy. But like Marcet Marce will be coming up. Sorry. Speaking of, there goes the Fox Spirit. We'll be seeing the beat. Zippy goes down before he can get the beat off. This could be huge. The robot's still just going up. They're going to be getting Timmy to that point. Dax finds two. Zippy and Grumpy Monkey. Pure gets only one out of the Dead Eye. That he is. Realizing that Pure was behind him, we do see Nemo going down, not having as much healing with him as Marset. And Pure, the Cassidy with the Kiriko, we're gonna get something going on the stop. However, two healers on a Reinhardt is gonna be so much to try and burn through for just Cassidy to Kiriko. Marset. You just have the momentum here. That they do. SVSU, only a minute and 20 left on the clock, is gonna have to try and. Very hard to take all of this. We'll just take the robot back and then we've got a ways to go. We do see the box here coming out again. Ryan Shatter beautifully blocked by Nemo. Stimwall going up. Nemo gets Shatter of his own. Nice. Kiriko tries to pull him back up, but however, it's already a bit too late. Three picks coming out from SVSU, and that's going to be the end of the team fight. Reinhardt versus Reinhardt finds him. And now let's see how fast this bot can move. Hammer still swinging, even though they've all fell. 
You know, you never know when a Sombra's sitting around there, <laughs> even though they're on Kiriko Soldier. And now it's just you really just gonna have to win two team fights, but however, we do lose pure early on. We've swapped to the full mirror at this point. Set already regrouped with that early pressure. Dude, the Ron King having swapped onto the soldier and just trying a bit more range trying to apply a bit more range pressure. Growing Monkey does have the soldier unlocked, probably gonna be seen jumping up to the high ground. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna have to win a couple more team fights to even get the robot back onto their offensive. Yeah, they will, but however we do have the beat. It looks like we won't even need it. Marcus Ryan's gonna be going pretty low. They do pop the beat themselves, however. Trying to end this all here. Grumpy Force. Monkey sitting on the ult, pops it! Pops the ult. Marset's main goal here is probably just force out as many SVSU ults as they can, knowing is now just going to be stuck on the two. two, cleaning up the supports there. But we are going to be seeing a, both a Ryan Shatter and a Simwell going to be able to completely invalidate that soldier ult. The only issue then becomes the Fox Spirit into their own Ryan Shatter from the side of Marset. So let's see, see how this team fight plays out. It's mainly going to be looking to come down to sort of what does the soldier ult do and what does the Reinhardt do? However, can they find the early Reinhardt kill? They can! They find two, find three! Visor only getting one. He's just on point. He's gotta try and contest. Visor finding two, the critical characters, the healers. And this soldier's still alive somewhere back there. And there's gonna be peak. I can't speak. There's gonna be poking from a distance. We are in overtime. SVSU needs this push to work. SVSU also is gonna be on a crunch time. Marset's gonna be walking at him. Meanwhile, Timmy Timothy's gotta stop and look for some reason. If only he could walk, Nemo's running away and trying to get out of that shatter. Sports coming back. Ah. And that will be it. SVSU forced off point because their healers ended up getting picked off by the visor. Now that is a Marset win, not SVSU. It's fucking that caster cam. Yes, it is. Marset will be taking the game and the match 3-1. to one. Play of the game here by GG Dax on the Reinhardt. Yep. yep that, that Earth Shatter, when you're clumped up under there, it's a hard tactic. That it is, the visor just forcing him all under, and then Dax getting ready, coming down with the chatter, completely capitalizing on it. It was a very good game to both teams. Amazing, amazing. That it is. And that will be the end of SPSU Esports for the night. Thank you all to everyone who ended up casting it, sorry, tuning in.